tips up YouTube. After so many DMs during the month of Ramadan on how to make this, I thought I had to do it now. So we'll be making Faluda as you can see from the title. It's an Asian kind of dessert milkshake kind of thing and super easy to make. Anyone can make it and we'll be making four types today. As you can see, I'm just going through the ingredients at the moment. So we're making four types, a gluten free, a traditional, a kids version and my version that anyone could make. So as you can see, we've got a few sprinkles. Even if you don't have the same, as long as you've got sprinkles, it's all good. We've got basil seeds, which you need to soak up later, and I'll show you. So I'll be using Crusher um, opposed to the the traditional rose syrup because Crusher is in Tesco, it's in everywhere. Anyone can get it. Um, here we have rose water, which we'll be using for the traditional only. And this is rice noodles. If you've never heard of Faluda, which I highly doubt, a lot of people use it and it's quite nice. It's, 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 it's tasteless, but it's just a texture. It's kind of like jelly. As you can see, we have gluten free noodles also. These are almonds which I've already chopped up and stuff, but they don't look too nice, so I don't know if I'm going to use it. Um, yeah, be sure to soak these for about 20 to 30 minutes, and as you can see now, they'll start to flow up like frog spawn. It's pretty crazy. So I'll be making, so first of all, shout out to my wife. These cups are dope. Um, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so do not fill the milk right to the top. Kind of leave a gap, just like yeah, a few centimeters, so you can put some ice cream in and it won't overflow and make a mess and stuff. Um, so we'll be making the traditional one now as well as the kids and my version which we'll be using crusher The reason I'm making this now is because we need to boil the milk and I've just added some rose rose water in just a few drops But taste as it's quite strong. So add a bit of sugar too um, Yeah, so we'll be boiling that make sure you keep spinning though and because you don't want the milk to stick to the bun because we need that to later simmer down so I'm just measuring the cups for the children's and my version again make sure you leave a gap at the top for the ice cream and here we go with crusher and then we have the food coloring and your you can add a bit more but you just we just want kind of want that red color in it um so here are my wife with the phone man oh by the way guys if you're not following me on instagram follow me on instagram because we got bloopers from this actual video which you guys will laugh because you hear everything so anyway so we're just gonna drain these uh, make sure before you actually use these to kind of look at you basically need to clean them and kind of pick out the little gray stones kind of thing And then you kind of soak them up um, Yep, so let's just yeah, let's just play up not play up, but you know, what I mean So basil seeds, so we've got the syrup first then we've got the basil seeds I think I might need to speed these videos up in a moment um, Then we've got the noodles Yep, that's not too clean, but you can make it much more presentable like if you're a perfectionist then you get why I'm doing this so yeah so as you can see on my fingers you want to kind of stop around there or even a bit more because yeah when you add the ice cream you really don't want it to overflow and it's going to kind of mess up your cup presentation and stuff so I went for the coffee ice cream which is a traditional Asian ice cream but you guys can use whatever you want chocolate vanilla is mostly preferred but you can use anything so yeah um this was quite tricky actually but I'm glad it was okay I guess you can kind of warm up your scoop so it's a bit warm so it'll be easy to take the ice cream out so now I'm just adding pistachios and some almonds which I've chopped up already no biggie so now on to the next one this is a children's one I am very sorry that my arms in the way this is actually my first cooking video so bear with me the next one's gonna be much better guys so yeah bear with me so basil seeds has gone in syrup's gone in now we have the milk with the crusher and here how it looks now noodles go in um ice cream goes in again you can use any ice cream you want guys and then obviously kids love whipped cream so let's do this whipped cream loads of sprinkles and here we go this is not sponsored i'm just showing you guys what it is so yeah now we'll be making the third version which is a traditional version everything's exactly the same but instead i'll be adding some pistachios on top of the noodles as well as the top once the ice cream's in so i just wanted to mention quickly guys for the gluten free it's exactly the same steps all you need to do is change the milk to almond free milk and the noodles to the gluten free noodles and then you're good to go that was my first cooking video tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching be sure to follow me on instagram because i've got all behind the scenes footage of this and apart from that have a good day god bless